what's up scorpio this is soul and scorpio we're going to look at some energy for you uh this upcoming month of december 2020 uh regarding love and relationships the messages will be for scorpio sun scorpio moon and scorpio rising signs as well as for scorpios who are single and uh, Scorpios who are in partnerships. Scorpio, I hope all is well. I do want to uh, wish everyone uh, a very safe and happy Merry Christmas uh, for your family members, your friends, or even by yourself. Uh, if you spend time by yourself and you know you just enjoy the holidays by yourself, you too. Um, with that being said, sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy your reading. All right, Scorpio, we're going to look at some energy for you in the month of December regarding love and relationship. Uh, the messages will be for Scorpio sun, moon, and Scorpio rising signs. Also, it would be for uh, Scorpios who are single and uh, Scorpios who are in partnerships. All right, so um, with that being said, I'm going to wish all the Scorpios... Um, Okay, that might have went off camera. I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> it was the fool and the devil. Uh, so I'm not going to use that. I put them back in the deck. Um, yeah, so Scorpios who are in relationships and Scorpios who are single. Uh, Scorpio, I want to wish you all uh, who celebrate Christmas a very safe and happy uh, Merry Christmas in celebration with your family members, your friends, or a solo. You know, some people don't... Um, do all that celebrating. They sort of tend to like to be by themselves or celebrate by themselves. Using the Victorian Romantic Tarot deck uh, to deliver your uh, energies. Uh, and also I brought back Sandra Brown's uh, Love Oracle messages. So I'll be selecting three cards from that deck as well. And you can use those messages however you want. So we always start off with the Shadow Energy, uh, Scorpio and um, I guess I keep saying it because you never know uh, if new people are coming to look at the uh, videos or whatnot. So, and then if I don't do it, then people <laughs> are like, what, what is that card for? You know, so that's why I continue to say the shadow and, you know, what the shadows could mean. So the shadow, if it is a minor, it could be uh, energy that expresses itself or not. If it is a major, it definitely will express itself and then that could be positive or negative. Okay, so... Uh, with that being said and out of the way, let's uh, begin your energies and your shadow is going to be of the Seven of Wands. So think in terms, stay focused on relationships here. Seven of Wands is my uh, do not fold, stand your ground card. So when it comes to you having to make choices or decisions related to your uh, partnerships, uh, Scorpio, don't change your mind because usually when you succumb to your own internal energies or the um, you succumb to the attacks of external energies, you end up with having to deal with any, uh, you know, with some regrets. And it's not a pretty good um, type of energy to deal with uh, when you have your mind set on, you know, something that you're going to do, focusing on your relationships. And then all of a sudden you you change your mind or someone else changes your mind and then you end up regretting that uh, decision or that choice. All right. So make sure that you just uh, stick to whatever it is that you're going to do and moving forward. Seven of Wands in your shadow represents uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This card here is your focus for the month. And um, we want to start off with the King of Pentacles. So King of Pentacles on that horse, that means that somebody could be coming uh, into uh, Scorpio's life that is new and this person could be uh, mature, uh, someone who is very independent, someone who is um, very resourceful. It could be somebody who runs their own business, own enterprise. They could be contractors. They could be um, um, yeah, business owners. Uh, they like the finer things in life. Now, they don't have to be a earth sign energy. They could be expressed um, through any sign. So, uh, but somebody's coming through. Somebody is coming through and that opens you up. So this is a court card. So for those singles, it could be uh, for somebody new. Uh, for the couples, though, it could be that there is somebody. Well, I want to say focus on uh, love and romance. I don't want to bring the work or financial stuff into this, but um, so, yeah, it could mean something different for the couples as well. Um, 
if I just take the attributes of this card and feeling secure, feeling stable, um, feeling uh, responsible, that might be the attributes for the couples. All right. So Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. What's crossing that is the Emperor, Major Arcana. So this is actually a pretty good card. This card is always about you being in control of yourself and not necessarily in control of other people. So you can see yourself through the month when it comes to your relationships of having control. No matter what comes up or what crops up for you within that relationship, Scorpio, <laughs> you're going to be in control. Uh, following the court card, the King of Pentacles, that could be that someone who uh, is single could enter into a relationship. Uh, with someone who is working in law or some sort of legal stuff. Could be, you know, a police officer, a judge, a lawyer, uh, somebody who is representing uh, law and justice, okay? Aries represents that emperor, as well as uh, Leo and Sagittarius. So, most important thing for you to know is to be in control of anything uh, pertaining to your relationships, all right? Uh, next up is, oh, that's why I said it. <laughs> that's exactly why I said you being in control because the tower is showing up here. That's the major arcana and the tower is always about upheaval and, uh, destruction as well as chaos. Now I did use the, um, you know, the term in another reading when the tower showed up as, uh, being sexually expressed and it could be orgasms multiple orgasms so think in terms of that this is a love reading and we are adults and that could be exactly why the tower is sh showing up here and um and it wouldn't be like you're controlling those things no <laughs> you wouldn't be controlling those things so the tower is here and you know it's um one of the three cards that i don't like um to show up the nine of swords is the other one and as well as the three of swords i get cringes you know, you know, like a bad vibe when these cards show up here, but it's here for somebody for a reason. So I feel that there could be somebody who, um, may be dealing with a situation in the month of December. Now it could be almost anything. Um, Scorpio, um, when it comes to your relationship, but the most important thing is that what, you know, preceded is the, the emperor. Now, even though the uh, tower has its own energies and, and it's, you know, you really don't know how it's going to, you know, turn out or spin, this is still equally powerful. Okay. And that's why I express you being in control of your own self, which then could be your own emotions and uh, not necessarily trying to control a situation or other people. So even though that tower is here, something may happen. Um, you know, some, you know, wrench may be thrown into your plans or somebody throws a wrench into your plans, but you're going to maintain yourself. Okay. You're going to maintain yourself. All right. So that tower has a uh, tendency to express and open its energy up any way that it, you know, deems necessary. So you might feel a little bit shake up of energy in the month of November, but I still feel that you're going to be well with the, uh, the emperor because that emperor precedes the tower and i'm gonna let you know the reason why i'm saying that scorpio is because if this had preceded the emperor then you're out of control you follow me this is how i'm reading the energies here the tower shakes you up and you lose control even though this is a positive card i'm just reading you how i interpret these two energies uh so i pay attention to um cards and proximity top bottom um corners and whatnot because it, it, there's a message there so you will be in control of anything that sort of like creeps up from you um shakes you up a little bit you'll be all right you'll be fine after the tower of major arcana uh definitely you're going to be all right because now you have the star that's also blessing you the star is um hopes wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested now there could be also too um a message for uh, a Scorpio where there's, you know, because this is a social networking card and I always say that uh, a lot of it has to do with online um, uh, energy. So it could be online dating, 
uh, whatever your favorite social apps are in terms of meeting people. Uh, there may be a little blow up here with someone that you meet online or something that is chaotic or out of order or something that is not satisfactory uh, in terms of it could be just a communication. You know, you meet somebody online and then there's something that's erratic about that conversation. Star card uh, still in the general love reading because there are stars in the galaxy, making sure that your energy is not too scattered uh, in the month of December. Just make sure you hone in on what you need to hone in on and focus on and not have all your energy spaced out. So this is a very positive card here. The star represents Aquarius, um, Gemini and Libra. And it still is um, what you're hoping for, what you're wishing for, what you're dreaming of. And we're talking about love and relationships. So there's still that possibility of, um, you know, you manifesting that because she's looking towards the future. Uh, and then, again, you being in control of any things that come up that are, you know, out of control or out of your hands or chaotic. Then we have the Ace of Wands. I must have turned this deck around. Ace of Wands is news and surprises, but it also could be the indication of how fast the relationship or connection takes place. Now, this here, in this case, mirrors the um, King of Pentacles, and he's on a horse. So a horse represents, tr you know, transportation, traveling, and speed. So there could be a new uh, relationship coming in or a new connection, and it may be through... This energy here of the star through social, uh, whatever your favorite social uh, situations are, it could be, you know, online dating sites, online dating sites. OK, so we got that there and the Ace of Wands. And don't forget, the Ace is about passion, too. <gasps> oh, mm, excuse me, Scorpio, I apologize. Ooh, yeah, Ace of Wands is about passion. Um initializing the startup of and so forth wow okay where that burp come from after that the ace of wands the five of pentacles so now normally the five of pentacles in a general love reading is that there could be an aspect where someone uh and also too might be a touch of the um towers energy where you're feeling like you're being ignored okay this is the energy that i had picked up um and then also to not only feeling like you're ignored, but uh, feeling like you're left out. OK, but it's temporary because it's a five. So you might be uh, some of you experiencing um, an energy where it could just be all in your mind where, you know, when it comes to your partnership that, you know, they're not paying enough attention to you and you feel like you're being ignored. Let it pass. OK, just feel it and then let it pass. Don't don't. Don't sink too much energy into it because when these five show up here, no matter what suit it is, it's just going to be on a temporary uh, basis. All right. So you might be feeling like someone's ignoring you or not paying enough attention to you. And that's coming from the five of pentacles. Up next is the moon. So the moon, part of your energy, specifically Pisces, definitely one cycle is ending and a new cycle is opening up. Secrets now come out. Secrets are revealed. Reputations. Um, making sure that if this uh, tower's influence of energy has anything to do with your moods, to make sure that you are balancing um, the best that you can to keep your, you know, your moods uh, sort of like equal. You don't want to be too low and you don't want to be extremely too high. So this is a card that could often, um, you know, influence your moods. Uh, this is a card of illusion. So you must always to pay attention to dealing with situations as they are and not as you want them to be. Also dealing with people. It's the same thing. OK. Um, and it never gets old. When people show you who they are, you better believe them. You have to make sure that you're not getting caught up in some sort of illumination about a relationship. Uh, this is also too like the seven of cups because this could be imaginary and this also could be uh, fantasizing. So making sure that you're not getting caught up in some sort of imaginary thing, thinking or uh, fantasizing about um, something that is not real. All right. So that's a major arcana there. Up next, we have you have three major arcanas. 
we have the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is always feeling like you're nervous about a situation. Look where it's under. It's under the tower. Is it because someone... Uh, now, you still could be in a relationship, but is it because somebody is at a distance? You know, is not there with you, and then you feel like your hands are tied, you're not trapped. Um, and then you're not good, you know, getting a good night's sleep, of course. You're anxious, you're nervous, you're worried. You have to identify first what is the actual cause of the stress. And if it is real, deal with it and try to eliminate it as much as you can, as fast as you can. Uh, but again, I feel that it's something to do with somebody who is uh, away or at a distance. Uh, Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay. And that might have something to do with the uh, the chaos or the disruptive uh, type of energy. Could be the nervousness um, that is heightened. But remember, I said that your environmental card, which is your immediate card, crossing the King of Pentacles, is the uh, card that keeps you uh, in control no matter what happens. All right. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we have four Pentacles. So this is the card that always comes through when I said there could be a little bit of uh, withholding of love and affection towards someone. Hopefully you're not doing that to someone, Scorpio. Uh, and that's it. That's all it is to, <laughs> with the four of pentacles. If it's in the reverse and I read these cards in the reverse, then it would be severe withholding of love and affection towards an individual. All right. So last card for you in this reading is the judgment card. Judgment card is really neutral, uh, but also to... Uh, the thing that I've been talking about as of late is that, you know, you're spiritually watched over, you're spiritually protected. Uh, this could be uh, the type of energy when it comes to your relationship, a form of guidance. Listen to your inner self, your inner voice. Um, there may be um, messages for you and it may be, you know, be those prompts from, you know, your, your own spiritual guides. What's hidden in the dark comes to the light. OK, that's the secrets from the moon. Uh, revelations, something you discover about yourself that you didn't know uh, before. Now, that could be positive or negative. Maybe it's something about a partnership that you didn't know before. Also, too, uh, maybe something through a conversation that is, comes, you know, completely erratic and, and chaotic and you discover something. You know, the person that you were talking uh, with, um, they revealed something that was unexpected to you and then, you know, shook things up. Okay. I'm just generalizing, giving you messages here. It could be almost anything. All right, Scorpio. So, um, you know, you guys are smart and you have your own intuition to rely on. So, um, you, you know, you're good to go. All right. So that's what I have for you in the month of December. And it's, uh, it's not too bad. It's really not too bad. Do not let the tower be your, uh, focus when you have the star card and you have the, um, you know, the emperor, the judgment is neutral. And then the king of pentacles as your opening, uh, energy. So someone is, uh, coming into your life or entering into your life or the, um, relationship that you're coming I'm sorry, the relationship that you're currently in uh, is walking towards a more secure, stable, could be even financial situation, meaning long term. So there could be uh, marriage or something like that. All right. So um, the first card, the first message is forever love. This one says this love will last a lifetime. And I just talked about that King of Pentacles. Wow. Ooh, okay, so next card up is the uh, message of healing. No matter what, children need their fathers. Now, I don't know how this message could uh, relate, but if you guys can use it, then there it is. Last message is, uh, okay, um, self-love. And uh, the message here is love yourself first then love will come to you. And it's most important that you understand uh, that message because you cannot be in a relationship with another person if you do not love yourself enough. So, and I'm not judging anybody here, but oftentimes, you know, we settle for relationships just to say, 
we're in a relationship so we can brag to, you know, our family members or our friends. And then they don't really know what's going on. But you might, you know, if the relationship ain't the way that you uh, want it to be or expect it to be and you're miserable, but it doesn't matter because my family knows that I'm in a relationship. <laughs> my friends know that I'm in a relationship. Well, that comes into this message here about self-love. Love yourself enough to know that you're better and deserving of a good relationship. And, you know, you shouldn't be accepting anything less than that. But you cannot enter a relationship if you have not acquired to, um, you know, to becoming to love your own self. Uh, we cannot enter into these relationships and, and, you know, make people responsible for our happiness, our love or whatever. We're responsible for that. And this is what breaks people up. Um you know, they don't understand or they don't come to some sort of understanding. Yes, you can come together as one in a relationship, but you're still supposed to maintain your individuality, your independence. Because if something happens, not that you wouldn't be sad or, you know, um, upset about it, but I feel that you'll be able to handle it much better. If you uh, loved yourself enough to know that you're worthy of anything that you are stepping your energies into. So that could be a, you know, um, through a breakup, through a death. But as long as you love yourself enough, yes, you'll still, you know, uh, suffer a little bit, but you, it won't be as bad uh, when you realize that you are important and that you are also worthy. Okay? Not the... The, per the other person is, but they, they're not responsible for you. They You are responsible for yourself. All right, so that's what I have, uh, Scorpio. I didn't mean to throw off on a tangent like that. But uh, listen, you guys, I want you to have a very safe uh, month of December. Stay strong. Definitely stay positive. Please, uh, Scorpio, wear those masks. If you haven't, begin to wear one. Keep yourself safe, your family safe, as well as your community. And uh, I am wishing you all uh, quite a bit of love and light your way. Merry Christmas to you all again. Um, yeah, until I talk to you again. Take care. Bye.